Speaking of kickers, how much are you following the XFL? Because I didn't realize Sergio Castillo is with the Houston Roughnecks, and he had a big day on the weekend. You following these guys? Yeah, um, not to the extent of like the NFL or other CFL games, but I mean, if something isn't going on in the weekend, it's kind of nice just to throw something on like that. I haven't caught a lot of it, but I did see uh, Sergio kick a couple times. I don't know if it was last week, the week before, but even like I said, uh, Medlock was kind of Snapchat me at one of the games. He went to watch Sergio play down there in Florida. So, yeah, I think it's just a good thing. It's another league that who knows if it lasts or not, but it's uh, more money for players. And, and I think it's a good thing just kind of having football on year round as a football fan. I think so. And I guess I can gauge how many weeks it's been since you've been on, Abu, because I don't think you've been on since the XFL started, yeah, right? It, yeah. So we're going into week five. Mm -hmm. Can you at least acknowledge it's been not terrible? I will say it's not terrible, yes. But I wish TSN would. I went looking for it on the weekend. I went so looking, oh, I. maybe there's a game on. TSN 1, no. TSN 2, no. TSN 3, no. TSN 4, TSN 5. Terrible. I watched the Tampa Bay game on TSN 2. Yeah. We well, must have different cable packages. Uh, yeah, well, there's different games. Oh, you only, so you there's only different have three channels. Games. Me? I got to just you had the, CBC, ra the rabbit ears. CTV. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I had no problem. Three of the four games were on Canadian television from what I saw this weekend. But how would you say it's decent? Because I think it is. It's not. It's not. It's not horrible. And you know, like like. Um, um, I like what they've done with the quarterback. The quarterback gets paid a lot more than all the other players. Uh, the kicking game, I really see it as a great launching pad for, for the NFL. But the rest of the players, and I've said it before many times on the show, these are the players that aren't good enough to make the practice squads in the NFL and probably aren't good enough to make the CFL as well. So what you're doing is, is this is like a third-tier league. All the good players have jobs, and these are the, the, the folks that are working at uh, gas stations and Tim Hortons and stuff like that. That's what they were doing last week. And those, that gamut, those gas Guys station can workers can play. Yeah, and, and usually you see it uh, you, you, you see it in the offensive line and the defensive backfield. You know, sometimes you just see it in the guy, the D DBs are wearing shoulder pads that are too big for them and they just kind of look funny. Um, but the offensive line and the defensive backfield, I think those are the two positions that NFL teams will hold on to a player just maybe they might be good one day. You know, I don't want to say receivers are, and running backs are a dime a dozen, but uh, maybe a quarter a dozen. How about that? Uh, the, and so the differences between the AF, ABAL, or whatever the heck that other league was Alliance called, of American is the football. offensive line and the defensive backs just were not good. And, that's, that, that, and, and we're seeing that uh, that's not the case. I'm seeing that's not the case here. So, I mean, if you have an offensive line, you can play football. If you have a defensive backfield, you can play defense. And that's the strength of this league, other than the kicking game and, and the quarterbacks. I'm glad you brought up the kicking game because viewer Brent Kuhlman writes in and says, what do you think of the XFL kickoffs, Brett? That's a good um, question. I understand them. I understand what they're trying to, trying to do. I mean, it's a little bit uh, trying to prevent concussion, everything else with that. Uh, for me, it just kind of looks weird. It doesn't really look like football either. But I get what they're trying to do. They do have some different rules to try to entice the audience and everything like that. So everything they're doing down there, I understand where they're coming from. And like I said before, I'm glad there's more jobs for other guys. I mean, you can say it's a third tier, which it is, but there's a lot of other sports that have fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth tiers. So it's kind of like I said before, there's a lot of players out there. We're starting to talk more about the global players. And I think the more you can get guys playing, the more money that kind of goes mm -hmm. around that you can, you're going to find these diamonds in the rough that could go XFL, could go CFL, then go NFL. And you see one of the, two of those stories, which I think is cool. Yeah. If you can pay them more than the gas station can, now they can develop their craft. Now they can play football and get better at playing offensive line or defensive exactly. backfield or, or, or kick. I mean, how many, uh, it seems like every uh, kicker that's not in the NFL flies to whatever city is having tryouts that week, you know, now, uh, and then they kick against air and kicking against air. I mean, it's like kissing your cousin, except not, not as, as much gross. fun. Yeah. Well, guys that just love to play the game and by yeah, the no, way, it's, it's great and develop. Yeah. They're developing what they love, which is good to see. And they don't suck. Yeah. But Asterisk. there's, there's been games with the riders over the years. I can't remember the guy's name, but we were in Calgary. The fans would remind me, but he hadn't kicked in three years, and the riders were an emergency, called him up, and 
You know, took a day off and came and kicked for that one game. Just to uh, kick him that one. His name was one. Paul McCallum. Was the, the, <laughs> wasn't McCallum, but. Didn't he used to ah, fly who was in that? on game day? Mark Ryan? The practice, Something the like that. In those days. that year, Clark so. has reminded me or asked me to ask you about the rumor that the CFL might tweak the Rouge and that they'll do away with a single point for missed field goals. How do you feel about that? Uh, for me, I just think it's. I understand both sides have kind of been reading up on it. Whatever they want to do, they can do. But I think we're kind of getting in the point in an era where it's so much about uh, appeasing fans and everything else that we're starting to get away from what the game is and what the game has always been and how it's worked. And uh, it's funny, just when I was sitting over the coach there and kind of bring his name up too much, but Madlock said to me, if they ask about the singles, make sure I, you say that I'm in support of them staying in. So Perfect. I think well, of course. Yeah, definitely just a unique, unique thing about the CFL. It's always been there. So to just get rid of it, um, kind of not really in favor of it, but I understand some of the kind of arguments and the the thoughts and stuff for especially for the shorter ones and just kicking it through the end zone so uh, how about that three point like uh, the the there's no pat there's no uh, there's no one point kick after touchdown in, in the, the xfl, XFL. Um, and there's also a three point play so i don't know if that's what how do you feel about getting rid of the the easy i one? love the three point play yeah i think uh, like you? i said i think there's some cool rules down there and that's one of them i don't know if uh, i'm in favor of getting rid of the kicking the extra point or not but I'm sure whatever the league wants to do and go about things. But it's like I said, I think it's the, the Canadian rules are the best rules in the world. They're better than the American ones and everyone else. So we're starting to get to the point where it's change this, change that, change this. It's it's kind of getting to the age where it's like too many people have too much to say. So let's just play football mm -hmm. and enjoy the game for what it is. Stop changing it. I like that if you're down nine in the CFL with a minute to go, the game's over. But if you can score a nine-point touchdown, that's going to make a lot of games more interesting. Brett, thanks for coming in. We have a gift card for you from the Tap Brew House and Liquor Store. Ooh, Take that if you don't you mind. you got to eat those wings there. Ooh, they are amazing. That's a lot of wings you can get with We want that. a great cup off those wings. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm sure it. you did. Uh, we'll be back. we got a big announcement coming up and another special guest in the bunker. It's the Rod Peterson Show, Football Friday, on Facebook Live and Listen Live at rodpeterson.com. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.